With ARM 10.3.11, we've now included visibility of purchase order suggestions from Epicor ERP. Purchase order suggestion integration with ARM has been requested numerous times over the years, and the functionality we've now added to ARM should help to drive even more value, particularly if your organization is in the manufacturing space or uses MRP for a significant amount of your inventory-based purchasing. Creating requisitions from purchase suggestions using ARM means that your organization is going to be able to benefit from ARM's high degree of automation, security controls, its multi-dimensional approval flow, budget visibility, its automated notifications, and a raft of other features which enhance visibility and control over the process. Running MRP in Epicor is going to produce a list of purchase order suggestions, and these suggestions are now made visible in ARM under a new heading we've added, which, not surprisingly, we've labelled PO suggestions. You can see it on the top left-hand side now. So I've processed MRP in Epicor, and here's my PO suggestions list from Epicor, now visible in ARM. And you can see that I've started to go through it, uh, and in blue I've selected uh, specific lines that I wish to request today. So once I'm done, I'm going to click Requisition, from, and uh, you'll notice that it will default the location, and I will get a new requisition from that. Okay, so here you can see it. Right, now you can see that our new requisition has all the relevant information ready to go as per the original PO suggestions list. So we can see that the requisition name, for example, has been pre-populated. So obviously, um, you know, this has come from a PO suggestions list, and obviously we can change that requisition name if we like. Uh, but we can also see that there are a number of different vendors being incorporated into this requisition. This is one of the great things about ARM. We don't need to create a separate requisition for each vendor. The user can simply put them all in the one requisition, and ARM will sort them out upon submission. We can also see GL account information. There's a few different GL accounts being hit here. Uh, and next to that, we can see that if the line is attributed to a specific job, as it is here, we get that job information as well and can go in, in and perhaps even potentially edit that if we have the allowance to do so. Next to that, we can see a note which ties each requisition line back to its place in the purchase order suggestions list. And of course, as is a big feature of ARM, we can also see account budgets. Now, some are green, some are red, but essentially what the budget indicator does is it looks at the GL account code, and if we have set up a specific budget against that GL account code, well, it will tell us how we're tracking, how much has been allocated, how much we've used, and how much this requisition is likely to affect that budget once it's submitted for approval. So where that budget has been uh, exceeded, of course, the budget indicator will turn red, uh, and it should be quite clear to, uh, to sort of decide what to do in that case. Now, something to point out, it's not visible in this particular example, but if any of these lines were attributed to a specific project, and if project budgets have been defined in Epicor against that, uh, then you will see a separate budget indicator and you'll be able to see the allowed budget or the remaining budget specific to that project as well. So uh, quite powerful stuff. But from here, what we can do is we can submit this requisition, which will trigger ARM's multi-dimensional approval process. And you can see the different approvers are starting to appear down the right-hand side. Now, of course, approval isn't necessary if you were keen to just get the purchase orders generated and out the door. But ARM's approval routing really is the backbone of the solution. This concept of multi-dimensional approval, where we could be triggering several different trees at once, as you can see on this line here, different approvers, uh, and, and as a visual example, you can see there different trees. One uh, approval tree being triggered based on the category of the item. The other tree uh, requesting approval based on the locations that are involved with this particular requisition. All right. So again, this is this is a core feature of ARM. Um, but you know, so now you're getting the best of both worlds, really. So you can still process MRP and use Epicor to generate your list of purchasing suggestions. But then you can use the strength and flexibility of ARM to generate those requisitions and route for approval. So you'll be able to check against your budgets uh, and then send everything through that, that approval process where your approvers are going to be receiving instant email notifications. Now, if necessary, uh, they'll also be sent reminders if these uh, approvals are not sort of actioned in, in, a, in a suitable time. Uh, and, and the approvers themselves can even set up delegations to account for planned and unplanned absences, so if they're going to be away. And all of this automation is basically to ensure that the process keeps on moving, whether people 
are in the office, or as we've seen more and more in the last few months, away from that office, office trying to um, work and, and, and be functional in a remote capacity. So obviously the ability to not only automate but digitize the entire process is becoming increasingly important uh, in today's work environments. Now the PO suggestions functionality is included as standard out of the box functionality with ARM 10.3.11. So thanks again for watching. Please be sure to contact your Epicor account manager for more information on the advanced requisition management solution.